That's David, he's the environmental officer. Did you run? Uh, no, yet. Okay. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. Okay. What? Use a handrail. We're getting off the ship today. Whoa! In the port of uh, <laughs> Haynes, Alaska. We're gonna be here late till 10. So, gonna walk around here a little bit, see what there is to see. Like a big ship. Hi, Matthew Town. There's this person who drives down the end of the pier. Pulling out is the free shuttle into town every 15 to 20. Okay. This isn't town. That's the port. That's <laughs> town. Okay. Okay. Oh, for a bus that takes us over there. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Haines. So there's a shuttle bus there that takes you from here over to there. Um, here and no jumping or diving. I don't think you'd want to anyway, but maybe it's just low tide. So we've walked to the end of the pier, more or less. There's an information center right here and a bathroom, at least a woman's bathroom. And some new construction in town and the snow-capped peaks in the distance. You got a fancy map that says Haynes, Alaska. Got a welcome to Fort William H. Seward map. Well, I guess this whole place is the fort. Like I said, information, people waiting for the shuttle bus maybe. I think we're going to walk up into town. There's the bicycle rental place. Okay. It's Sunday here in Haines, so some places may be closed. This is Alaska Wild Bear Photography, Fine Art, Wildlife, and Nature Prints. I see local original art, Rainbow Glacier Adventures. Everything's being built as a garage. Notice the garage doors. Another bicycle rental company. Smoke Salmon. I'm gonna walk up the street here a little bit. So original jewelry, silk screen works, Eskimo art. This is the wild iris. Of course the ship's right there. We got a lot of flowers here. And a little shop. These look like columbines to me. There's a wild iris. We walked up from the ship. This is the Port Chilkut Bible Church. And it is Sunday. Oh, that's why all the cars. We're gonna make a loop around here. See what there is to see. Maybe hike into the forest somewhere. Came up from the ship. From here you can kind of see we're surrounded by snow-capped mountains. Maybe even call them fjords. This is historic Fort Seward. I don't know if there was ever anything in this grass area, but these houses were part of the fort, as were these. We're gonna head up here into the forest. I think. There's the ship. Fort Seward right there. We came up the street. We're going up this one. It's called Fa Road. F-A-A. -A. Maybe it leads to the airport. I don't know. But we're going to go up here a little ways. Work our way back to the coast, which is just down there. Historic Fort Seward is down around there. We're walking down this road. This guy's got decorates. He's got antlers in all of his decorating. That's it. I'll use antlers in all of my decorating. Gaston. Anyway, it's uh, almost berry season, it looks like. 
Although I'm not really sure what those are. So we walked up far road a little ways. Saw the antlers. There's the ship. Fort Seward right here again. We're going to go up this road, which is Tower Road, and then we're going to veer off that way. So we came up there. Fort Seward is right through those trees. We're on sort of a busier highway. I don't know if you could call it busy. But we're going to go on Mud Bay Road, which means we've got to cross this highway in just a moment. Let these cars go by. Miata. We're going to walk down that way a little bit. We're only half a mile from the ship, if even that. We came from over this hill, Fort Seward and the ship are right on the other side. We've only been walking maybe a mile, not even a mile yet. It says 0.8 on my watch. And we've come to the other side of this peninsula. You see the water out there. I think that's called Mud Bay. Because we're on Mud Bay Road, right? So, there are flowers. And houses. And cars. And trees. Why, I even saw some bees. The ship's over on the other side of those trees. Way over. We've got a mile to right here. We've reached this place where people have parked. We're going to try to go off through to the water if we can get there. Janet thinks this is the way. That looks pretty solid down there though. But there is a trail here. Let's go up here a little. Here's another trail. Overgrown. Oh, I see a way through. Of course, I don't know how to stay below. I see a trail going all the way out. So I see several trails here now. Let's try this one over here. This is pretty overgrown right through here. But it looks pretty. No houses here either. The river road was right there, the cars parked there. And I think this is the trailhead we want right by the speed limit sign. Okay, here's a bee. He's working hard. This is like a uh, rose bushes. So this is a semi-wild Alaska, other than the dogs and the people. Woof. These are actually wild irises, because they have to be wild, I guess. I'm not sure where else they would come from. I'm going to try to climb up this hill a little bit. We've been walking along this trail, along this marsh, along these mountains, and somebody has installed a couple benches here and a fire pit. So if we're out here really late and it gets cold, I could rub two sticks together because I don't have any lighters or matches. This trail goes on for a long way though, it looks like. We're not gonna take it all the way. But it is a nice walk, and it wasn't very far from the ship. Been walking for a while down this trail. We came across this, which is a little swamp, pond, and wild irises everywhere. People have walked through here ahead of me, or animals, because the plants are smashed down. 
I don't want to end up with wet feet. But you can see them all, all across here, right? I don't see any fish in there. It came from way over that way somewhere. Um, my watch says we've walked a mile and a half to this point. And when we went down by the water over there, it was very swampy, but this is rocky and we're gonna get right down to the water. I imagine at high tide, this is underwater because these are all covered with seaweed. But the water seems to be rushing, whether it's the tide going out or it's because it's a river, I don't know. Oh, it's a little muddy here though. But I want to get over to that point there, so... Not here! It's more like sand. See, I think this is underwater at high tide. But I have to say, it's uh, it's beautiful out here. It's beautiful. All I need is a bald eagle soaring over and a whale breaching, right? Or a bear catching salmon. I don't think I'm gonna get any of those. So the shore, when you get up from the water, is rocky and some of the rocks are you know dark gray but some of them are speckled so you got two kinds i guess that's granite and nice schist i don't know <laughs> but as you can see it's all rocky here like a rocky shoreline but the tide is out so far we've got the the tidal bottom the tidal basin mud which, by the way, I walked on. It's not really muddy. It's more like gray sand. So we're going to head back to the ship, have some lunch, and then come out here again, but go over to the city proper. So we came over here, walked down by the water, looked at wild irises. The only wildlife we saw was a couple of birds. I hear birds all over. But nothing on four legs so far. But we're going to head back to the ship now. And then we're going to come back out. And the ship is only about a mile over the, through these trees. It is a fairly steep climb, but it's a road. So, and not a lot of cars go by. So you're not really remote or anything. No danger that I know of. I was kind of hoping to see a bear or something out here, but it didn't happen. So back to the ship, and then we're going to go to downtown Haynes. That's right, downtown. Well, we're back to where the ship is. Fort Seward. We're going to walk down and around and then back to the ship, and then later go into Haynes, which is over there. I thought this was Haynes, but I was told no. There's somebody that makes something out of old buoys or whatever and wood. So this is the Fort William H. Seward bed and breakfast, but it looks closed off. And all these houses are historical from when this was a fort. I think it said it was the first fort in Alaska. Remember Seward's Folly? Playing in the fort. So we're gonna walk around, like I say, and get back to the ship over there. So Janet and I walked this row of historic houses. There's the ship. Dance partners and patriots. And now we're gonna head down this way. Here's a restaurant and an Avis rent-a-car, I'm guessing and it's under repair. 
Well, that doesn't look open. I don't know. Anyway, there's the ship. Nice rhododendron. And I guess a lighthouse for sale. So if you're interested in owning the town lighthouse, it could be yours. We're getting off the ship again in Haines. Gonna go into the town this time. Hello. Superman. Hello, how you Hi. How do you remember that? That he's Superman? This man here. Because he waits on me. He can do it all. He can. Enjoy your day. Thanks. Welcome to Haynes. That's made out of wood and shells. See that? Shells. Got off the ship again. This time we made a right. We're heading over to downtown Haynes. That's downtown. This is Fort Seward, apparently. And there's a uh, family gathering at the beach today. So we're gonna see what there is to see. They do have a free shuttle bus over to town, but it only goes like every 15 minutes and we don't wanna wait. Along with the ship, guess who else is in town today? Guess, that's right. Like I say, we see them in almost every port worldwide. There's uh, some sort of memorial here as we Make a turn in the road. There's a bald eagle just flew into that tree. You probably can't see it. But if I can get close enough with this GoPro, it'll be exciting, won't it? There's a ship over there, kind of where that red building is. It's through those trees. Um, we came across this. Tlingit Park, playground, visitor center, waterfront. And it's got this, uh, boardwalk here where I can gaze out now you can see the ship and then a stairway up that seems to have absolutely no purpose because I could have just walked up that path there is some Big old trees here. And a beer can. Janet thinks that's a grave. I'm gonna guess it is. Or some sort of monument. Willie Joel. Not Billy Joel, Willie Joel. So this brings us into a big park where people are barbecuing. Respecting our grandparents and our children. And we're in a residential area it looks like. The sign said the city center was this way. So maybe this is the city center. I would think not. There's a store over there. I see waterfalls on the mountain. I think I found out where the free shuttle drops people off. Of course, we walked to it before the shuttle came and went again. Look at these pretty columbines. Janet would rather look at those irises. They're pretty nice too. She means these over here. This is dedicated to the Marine Corps. But anyway, there's the bear den. 
And I'm guessing this is downtown Haines because the shuttle bus just dropped people off. Now other people are going further. There's four stops. Janet says there are four stops on the shuttle route. There's the water right there, of course. And another bar or restaurant. There's the hammer museum, I'm guessing, with the big hammer in front. So this must be the main drag of Haynes. There's the hammer museum with the hammer in front. The rusty compass coffee house, the fog cutter, the pool tab bar. Another one of these signs that lead you everywhere. Local, I'm assuming. The IGA, I don't know what that is. Of course the trash can's here, you have to reach inside and push a little lever. Bear proof. Supposedly. The Alaskan liquor store, as opposed to one of the other kinds of liquor stores. This looks like a market or something. Frontier Tradesman. It goes on down there. A couple more blocks. I think that's it for Haynes. Look at that stack of rocks in the back there. Probably can't see it. Hoser's IGA Supermarket. So it was a market. Hi. How you guys doing today? Doing great. Great? Great. Walking up this street. It's called Main Street. Look at that multi-level high-rise they're building there. We've come to the brewery. I don't know which one. It just says brewery. So this is the Haynes Brewing Company and we're going to go in and sample some brew, I think. Should be fun. So you can buy a hat or t-shirt. Photographs. Sit around a bench. Several different brews, it looks like. The Hazy Hop Hip Broke Dick. $10 for a token. What do we have here? So, Haynes Brewing Company right there. So we bought a couple of pints. A Dunkless and a Spruce Ale or something? A Captain Cook's. Captain Cook. Soft, women's clothing, new and gently used, among other things. Salmon in a can, eagle in a can. Got it all. Poopery flavors. Pictures. There's the Haynes Brewing Company. They make some good beer in there. Some good beer. I can say that from experience. We're gonna head back sort of the way we came, but we're gonna go out He's to the making walk. a carving. This is where the stack of rocks was, whatever it is, and a canoe skeleton. And I love salmon because, because of the wonderful things he does. Hauser's IGA supermarket. Oh, a liquor store. Tastes like here, gin, vodka. Tastes like here, Port Chilkoot. Are they saying they make gin and vodka here someplace? Anyway, if you uh, go up 2nd Street from Main Street, 
you'll come to the famous halibut fish, fish and chips at the Alaskan bar serving Alaskan Brewing Company and the bamboo room. Huh. Let's go up to the top of this street. There's the American Legion and bells in some sort of factory. Oh, look at that. Those were the good old days, huh? And what is this? Uh, so we were on Main. That's where the brewery is. We turned up 2nd Avenue. Now we're on Union Street going back towards the water. And it's a pretty steep road. If you look over here to the right, you can see the ship, maybe through the trees there. We came down Union, made a right, or left, made a left on whatever street this is. And we're going off this way. Headed towards Skagway, but probably not going to get there. Is that a Toyota? Oh, uh, an old Toyota. Super yeah. It's pretty uh, picturesque here, though. Of course, there's the ship, so we're not really that far away. I'm getting to an area where there aren't a lot of houses or cars. The water's right on the other side of these trees, though. There's some tall pine trees or spruce trees. Whatever kind of trees those are. Hey, another ship! Must be coming from Skagway. Our road was going to merge with another road right up there. The one that came out of town, I suppose. We're going to try to get down to the water here. Oh yeah, there's like a crane or an ibis or something down by the water. Um, there's a cruise ship cruising through. There's our ship. There's the town. We went down around there. Now we're heading back to the ship. I think we're gonna go out again on bikes. We're here till 10 p.m. so. This is the boat harbor down here. You can't really see the boats from where we're at. But I think this is still called Front Street. Of course, you got that for your scenery. I guess this maybe is an RV park or just a park with RVs. Oh, RV park it says. That's some sort of a restaurant. Might have something to do with the RV park. Here's the Haynes, Alaska sign. This is the boat harbor. Down there. So we're gonna walk back over to the ship which of course is right there.
leaving Haynes, Alaska at sunset, you might say. And we have to do a 180, which is what we're doing. Turning very slowly. See the snow-capped mountains. Getting the last rays of sunlight. Here's the front of the ship. This is not moving fast enough for me. 